a pilot scheme is starting this autumn in which people as young as 18 are going to work as trainee teachers with their university courses paid for. Go into teaching and don't rack up the debt is the way the government is selling it. It applies to mass teaching only. Let's talk to Christina Merkett, who started teaching uh, in a secondary school at the age of 21, straight out of university. That was on the Teach First programme. And Lucy Kellaway is also on the line, who started teaching when she was 57. She founded the charity Now Teach to get people uh, later in life into teaching careers. Morning to you both. Morning. Uh, Christina, uh, kick us off with what it was like at 21, your first classroom. Hello, Christina, are you there? Hi there. Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. Hi, sorry. Yeah, sorry. We can hear you now. Tell us what it was like, your your first classroom experience, your memory of it. Yeah, so it was pretty daunting, um, to be honest. Yeah, as you said, I was 21, fresh out of university. I had six weeks kind of training over the summer with the Teach First programme uh, and then was thrown into a school in Dagenham, a very large school, um, quite a difficult school in, in some respects. Lots of students with very kind of complex needs. Um, was pretty much on a full teaching timetable from the get-go. And so it was a real kind of baptism of fire, really. What what went well? Um, I mean, I built up really good relationships with the students. And I think that is one kind of plus side, I guess, of having younger teachers is that you can be more approachable, you can be more empathetic, you can relate to them. Um, I feel especially with like pastoral issues, like with social media and stuff, I was aware of kind of what they were watching, what they were going through and things like that. Um, so I was able to build really good relationships with them. And I think younger teachers have got a lot of creativity and enthusiasm and energy and, and want to sort of, you know, really make a difference, um, I guess. But I think there are also some really important downsides, which I think the government's plan for apprenticeships doesn't really consider. Like what? Um, well, first and foremost, I think obviously there's some safeguarding issues around having, say, like a 19 year old possibly teaching people who are only a year or two younger than them. Um, I think that this is a kind of sticking plaster for the government's recruitment crisis in education, but I don't think this will do anything for retention. You know, at the moment, I think about 40% of teachers leave after five years, and I'm, I'm not sure mm. whether this is going to solve that particular crisis. I also think as well, especially this is what I found with my experience, that in terms of like like discipline and the behaviour management side, I think it's really hard as a younger, inexperienced teacher. You know, I found it particularly hard, especially as a woman, I think, and being sort of, you know, quite small. I'm only five foot three, so I'm not a natural disciplinarian by any stretch of the imagination. I'm hardly misconstrual. Yeah. Um, you know, I found that really hard, kind of exerting authority over a classroom. But I think they, they did really respect the fact that, well, they respected teachers who had good university degrees and could be aspirational figures. And I also worry that perhaps the apprenticeship scheme will sort of lose that as well because yeah. they won't have any extra training other than secondary education. Okay, Chris, so Chris, Christina, thank you. Let us turn uh, to Lucy Kellaway. I mean, you, you will pick up, I imagine, on quite a few of those points, Lucy, but the, the first, the most obvious one is discipline and, and going in at the age of 57, having done a lot else, presumably you had, well, you have anyway, a natural authority about you. <laughs> well, I think that my grey hair helped, but only on the first day, actually. And I really agree with what Christina was saying, that you need to build that trust. Um, so that they look at you and they think, oh, this woman's been around the block a few times and they may not try it on so quickly. But I think what really helps is not so much age. Um, it's it's more confidence, actually, and you can be confident as a younger person, confident as a younger person. But the thing that I had and that a lot of the older now teachers have is that we've already been good at something else in our lives. So um, finding your first brush with the classroom, which is very difficult, it's not devastating for us in the way that it can be for much younger teachers. And actually, curiously, although the government is looking at 18-year-olds, the only growing sector into teaching training is middle-aged people. Mm. Um, so it's us who don't mind so much the lack of flexibility and all the things that are putting off younger teachers. And we are retaining much better and we're growing in number. There's something um, about teaching, isn't there? It's, a, it's the holistic side of it. I mean, yes, these people are teaching maths and, and one assumes they will have, well, actually, but they'll have some qualifications, not brilliant qualifications necessarily, only apparently a grade four in maths and English required. But it's, 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 it's the business of being able to bring so much more as well into a class which, I mean, I think both of you are saying they won't be able to. 
Yes, I, I'm not necessarily saying that. I know some amazing 18-year-olds who I teach, who I could imagine doing a pretty decent job themselves, especially in maths, where if you understand trigonometry, you don't need the whole rest of the world. But in economics, which I teach, it's so helpful and so good for the students that I've been out there. I, I sort of understand the economy in a way that I just could not have done when I was 21, um, let alone 18. And I think that really helps the depth of your teaching and gives the students something that they don't often have otherwise and that they deeply appreciate. Lucy Kellaway and earlier Christina Burkett. Thank you very much. 13 minutes to nine.